We're back for another one. Uh, we'll do a quick one. I don't know. Do you like do you like the quick ones? Like, should I keep them 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes? Like, how long should I go? Anyway, uh, Winter Expo this year in Oregon at Oregon Airsoft Arena. Originally, I was invited down by uh, Terry, the owner, when uh, Sonny introduced me to him. At the uh, G and G, uh, tra- like product show display showcase thingy, at when I went down for Airsoft Con last year. So I also so I didn't throw that in the Airsoft Con review video because these are rants and I don't think about any of this stuff. I just hit play and go or record and go. See, uh, I got in. I was invited to the G and G office. I uh, got to Sonny was there. Obviously, he's a field owner and my friend, and I love him. And he introduced me to the owner of Oregon Airsoft Arena. And he said, hey, I got a text message. And he said, hey, come up to Oregon for this cool thing. And I'm like, okay, this sounds like a cool thing. Told my buddies, said, hey, this kind of looks fun. Told the DOA guys, uh, talked to a couple other teams, talked to... Hold, please. I didn't think I'd get that many text messages at once. Anyway. Uh, talk to DOA, talk to Tacos, talk to Asylum, and all, they were all going up. So I, I hitched a ride with the DOA crew. We got an Airbnb, which was incredible. So the vacation aspect was dope. It was winter, or it was February, so yeah, it'd be winter. Oregon is beautiful. That area, especially around that time frame, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. The weather was great. I loved everything about it. We got an Airbnb for us and like eight or nine or a bunch of people. So we had a two-bedroom house. I passed out on the couch because that's what I do. Uh, was there eight of us? Probably. Probably probably close to eight of us. Uh, we had a great time there. We rented a car, went all the way up, uh, got a big SUV with four-wheel drive so we wouldn't have to like mess with chains or anything like that. The event itself was dope. The, we got there on a Friday and chilled Saturday. The I believe it was a Friday, Saturday, Sunday thing. We got there like Friday night, night-ish. Saturday was their first day. It was like casual play. Uh, so it was like an open field and their vendors, a lot of their vendors. Uh, a lot of the vendors that I had already met and knew from SoCal were there. Uh, like Russian was there, the master guys like Ryan, like the, my buddies from N1 were there, like a lot of the guys I knew were there. So that was kind of where I was kind of like, hey, guys from SoCal, these are my guys from NorCal, let's all have lunch and be good friends. I think I bumped my mic, oh well. So that was cool. So that's that was, interestingly enough, we had to go very far out of our own state to hang out. Uh, so that was fun. Then the so the first day was incredible. First day was incredible. Very like a small airsoft con. So it was the the side area where the vendors yeah maybe about like the size of like a big like a big backyard I'd say it wasn't big but I liked it. I liked that it wasn't big. I liked that it was very local. I, I really liked it, but it still had like a big event feel to it. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I like that there wasn't packed with a bunch of vendors. I like that because uh, I had local guys and had big name guys. G and G was there. Tronics was there. That's where I was introduced to Tronics, the owners. Uh, I a lot of really cool. Sunny was there. I didn't know he was gonna be there. I just kind of walk around and then boop. Hey, I know you. That was cool. Anyway, so that was dope. Sunday was the tournament. They did a five, three, three player tournament. Three or five. For the life of me, I can't remember off the top of my head. I want to say five. I want to say it was a five player tournament. I could be wrong. I don't remember. Anyway, anyway, they did a tournament. Uh, the tournament itself ran fairly smooth for... I don't think the staff was expecting that big of a turnout. 
Let me see if I can lessen the glare on my stupid face. Um, I don't know if the staff was expecting that big of a turnout because that was, dude, there was so many people at that turn. There was, listen to me, so many people at that tournament. Oh yeah, my pinky still messed up. Eh, whatever. Uh, so I don't know if they were ready for that. They, they were a little hesitant on some of their rules. Like I don't think they had necessarily planned out the rules. The rule specificity uh, is as detailed as they wanted to be. Uh, but it was my understanding was Terry, the owner, allowed his staff to put that tournament together. And I, I still think they did a very good job, especially for the amount of people they had. It was crazy. Uh, it did get a little busy and chaotic and hectic towards the end because we, like the tournament people, we didn't know they were having like a regular business day after the tournament. And all those tournament players and all the rec players filled Oregon Air. So, dude, it was packed. It was hard to move. It was like a, it was like a concert. Like you're like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Dude, it was packed. Like there was clearly that had to have, there's no way that they have that on a regular weekend, is it? There was so busy. Uh, so there was a lot of people there and there was a little confusion. Like when are we going to like, when's the tournament over? When are we going to play? What team are we on? There was a little confusion towards the end. I attribute it to, I don't know if they expected that amount of people. It was, guys, it was packed. Especially for, Oregon Airsoft Arena is not big. It's not big. It's not small by any means, but it's also not very big. Uh, TAC is bigger, I'd say it's, is it accurate to say it's half the size of TAC City? Is that accurate? I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Uh, but it's not very big at all. Uh, and it's maybe a fourth the size of CQB City in Stockton. Yeah, I, I, I'd i say that, that might be about right, size-wise. Anyway, uh, we are already... And I, we're already talking about going back up. So, look for me to go to another one. Uh, I want to go again. The NorCal kids are already talking about it. We're already planning for it. So whenever they do another Winter Expo, we want to go down because it was a lot of fun. And we were treated like kings. Like, the customer service there was incredible. We went to, uh, oh, Jeepers, what is it? Top Golf. So after, so Saturday, the first day, after it was done, they said, hey, we're all going to meet up at Top Golf. It's, it's on us. What? Oh, 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 okay. And they treated us, the guys at Oregon treated us like kings i believe if i'm not mistaken uh especially to the guys that came all the way from california because we all drove from sacramento even the socal guys drove from socal drove all the way up drove all the way down uh so they they treated us like family it was great i i was not expecting that level it was like vip status of hospitality uh so for that that, I think that's the big reason we're going to go back is because that, that family vibe there was, it was intense. So, uh, pending when they do it again, assuming they do it again, pending like the logistics and I got work and I got school and there's money, uh, winter expo 2019, excuse me, 2020. I just had to look, I literally had to see what year it was, uh, winter expo 2020, Pending the specifics is something that a lot of guys from NorCal are planning on going back to. So, I love you, Oregon Airsoft Arena. You guys are great. I like this two-faced thing I got going here. I don't care about my production value. So, bye.